Hi everyone, my name's Miss Stephanie and welcome to our virtual children's moment. This year for annual conference, we're talking about faith, hope, and love. Let's open with a prayer. Father, thank you for technology that allows us to gather together even as we are so far apart. May you open our hearts to your word and help us discover what faith, hope, and love really mean to us. Amen. Now let's learn a new song and sing together today. No, I won't be afraid. You are with me. You are right beside me every day. Now that's a song I'm sure you know. And if not, wasn't that fun? So for the last three sessions, we've talked about faith and hope. So what's left on our list? That's right, love. So today's story is a story about a story. It's also known as a parable. And a parable is what Jesus used to tell, a story he would tell that had a meaning or moral attached to it. This is a parable that Jesus told to a very smart man who had a lot of questions for him. The parable of the Good Samaritan. The miracle of mercy, the Good Samaritan. 
This is Jesus, who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. You see, when Jesus was on earth, he wanted everyone to know what God thought about things. So he took every opportunity to teach people about God's heart. <clears throat> One day, a religious expert stood up to test Jesus by asking him this question. Teacher, what should I do to inherit eternal life? <laughs> what does the law say? The man answered, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. Do this and you will live. Wait. The man then asked, and who is my neighbor? Jesus replied with a story. A Jewish man was traveling from Jerusalem down to Jericho, and he was attacked by bandits. <laughs> They stripped him of his clothes, beat him up, and left him half dead beside the road. <laughs> By chance, a priest came along. <laughs> but when he saw the man lying there, Ugh, yuck. he crossed to the other side of the road and passed him by. La 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la, whoa! Another man who worked in the temple who was called a Levite walked over and looked at him lying there. He's out. Uh, huh? But he also passed by on the other side. Then a Samaritan came along. Uh. Samaritans were hated by Jews. They were seen as lesser people and Jews would not interact with them. But when the Samaritan saw the man, he felt compassion for him. Going over to him, the Samaritan soothed his wounds with olive oil and wine and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his donkey and took him to an inn, where he took care of him. One room, please. The next day, he handed the innkeeper two silver coins, telling him, Take care of this man. If his bill runs higher than this, I'll pay you the next time I'm here. Now, which of these three would you say was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by bandits? The man replied, The one who showed him mercy. Then Jesus said, Yes, now go and do the same. Did you know this parable already? I bet you did. But did you learn anything new as you watched it? When asked who is our neighbor, a lot of people answer a lot of different ways. Some say it's the people who live next to us, the ones who go to church with us, and others say it's anyone we come in contact with. So God calls us to love everyone, right? Yes. But there are some people who need God's love just a little bit more. Kind of like your best friend may not need a reminder that you love them. But what about that kid that sits by themselves at school? They probably need a reminder that somebody notices them. The priest in the story was not the one who needed to be shown the love of God. But the beaten man sure did. Here's what's important about the story. It's not just that the Samaritan stopped and helped. It's the fact that he took so much time and care to do so. He cared for that man as if he found his own brother on the side of that road. He used his own supplies and he used what he had to dress the man's wounds, but he didn't stop there. He put the man on his donkey, which meant that he had to walk in the very hot sun. He then found a place for the man to rest and someone to take care of him. He also made a promise to come back later and take care of the bill. Do you think the man that was beaten felt the love of God through that Samaritan? Do you think God used that Samaritan to show love, to bring hope to this man? He sure did. And he wants to use us the same way. 
What if that kid that doesn't get picked for teams has been praying for a friend just like you? Noticing others beyond ourselves, beyond our own needs, is really showing the love of God. And that is exactly what we're called to do. Today's story is found in Luke 10. Take some time today and read that passage with your family. Discuss what it really means to love others by God's definition. And maybe how you can show love to the O's around you. Let's pray together today. Father, thank you for the love that you show us and teach us to see others the way that you do. May you continue to help us show love and bring hope, Father, in Jesus' name, amen.